What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the publishers with the easiest achievements. Now, overall, we're going to be talking about nine different companies that offer easy achievements. First, let's go ahead and start off with number nine. Number nine is going to be Epi XR Games. They're a little bit new to the scene. However, they released three easy completions in a row. All three games that they have released so far can be completed in under one hour. Those being Airy, which you just have to collect all of the feathers and beat the game to get all of the achievements. Next, we have Ailment. Ailment can be completed in under one hour, and all you need to do is start the first nine levels. After that, we have Tanky Tanks. This is an easy 30 to 45 minute completion. All we need to do is beat 50 levels on easy, which is pretty easy overall. But I have a feeling these guys are barely getting started. They barely released their first game like a month and a half ago, so... Their first three games, good start for the achievement community. Number eight, Victory Road. Victory Road is also a new publisher to the Xbox scene. They have released four games in the last month and a half. All four are really easy completions. One thing this publisher has been doing is they have been including cheat codes for all of the games. So their achievements are much easier because we can enter in a cheat code and typically get the completion or platinum trophy a lot faster. Next, we have our number seven ranked publisher, Zitalon. Zitalon is also new to the publishing game for Xbox. They have been releasing really easy completions as well. So far, they got five games released, including popular completions like Aboriginous, Mushroom Quest, and Pixel Gladiator. Most of their completions are about one hour or less. Now, all three of these first publishers have two things in common. They're both new to the game, and they're both satisfying the achievement community. So I have a feeling that all three of these publishers are going to be releasing much more games with easy achievements because publishers and developers are getting smarter, yo. They're realizing that the achievement community buys a lot of games. And if they can release a game with easier achievements, they're definitely going to sell more copies. So I personally think that's really good. I don't have any issue with them releasing games with easy achievements. Ultimately, you know, it's up to you on what type of games you want to play. I think it's always good to have some easy achievements, but always good to, you know, have games that are much longer like Red Dead, Grand Theft Auto, games that, you know, um, have a much more respected 1000 gamer score. And yeah, maybe it's a lot easier to boost your score in 2020 than it was in 2010. But I mean, ultimately, it is fair. I mean, you have people that, you know, just joined the Xbox community that want to, you know, be achievement hunters, but they lost 10 years, you know, they don't have 10 years to play games to try to catch up to everyone else. So least that we can do is, you know, give them easy achievements so they can at least try to catch up. Anyhow, at number six, we have East Asia Soft. East Asia Soft has been releasing a lot of easy completions lately as well. I think originally they were into developing games, however, they're publishing games on Xbox Digital now. So far, they have five games, and four of the five of them can be completed in under one hour. Once again, we have a company that is realizing that the achievement community and trophy community buy copies, you know, whether the game is good or not, and they're selling games. So I'm sure that more games will be coming from East Asia Soft as well. All right, guys, now we're getting to the top five. These are the big dogs when it comes to achievements. At number five, we have Sometimes You. They have 25 games available on Xbox, and most of them are easy completions, about one hour. Some of them take two hours, and then you have like two or three that take like four to six hours. But I'm telling you guys, most of the games that are made by Sometimes You are really easy completions. They average about one hour or less for the completion time. They probably hold the crown for having the easiest completion of all time with A Winter's Daydream. In that game, all you have to do is just keep pressing A until you get to the end of the game because that game is just a visual novel. You may have heard of some of their other popular completions like North, One-Eyed Knuth, and Energy Cycle, just to name a few. On top of that, they keep pumping out games they release about two games a month. And at number four, we have Artifix Mundi. For the most part, they make point and click games. Typically, these take about two to four hours to complete. You typically need a guide to complete them fast. However, with a guide, these are really easy completions. So far, they have released 28 games on the Xbox One. Now, there was a bit of controversy with Artifix Mundi games because they were really popular in the achievement community. 
but the problem was is initially these games I think were like $7.99 and then somewhere I think last year they ended up changing their pricing and pretty much doubled the pricing on all of their games. So most of their games at full price are about $15 now and they even went back and raised the prices on their older releases as well. So it's not like, you know, they just put that pricing in effect on their releases moving forward. They went and changed all of the Artifix Money games uh, pricing to $15. And finally, we have the top three. At number three, we have Telltale Games. Telltale Games is known for making narrative-driven point-and-click games. These typically have a cinematic feel to them. Pretty much feels like you're watching a TV show. These were released episodically, so most of the Telltale Games were released in $5 episodes, or you could buy the whole thing usually for like 15 or 20 bucks, depending on the game. And typically with most of their games, as long as you beat the game, you get your full completion or platinum trophy, no matter how you play the game. Personally, I'm a big fan of games that you can get the full completion by simply beating it, because then you can just turn the game on and enjoy it. As someone that kind of has OCD with achievements, I prefer to, you know, just play the game if I can, um, you know, get the full 1000 gamer score. Otherwise, you know, I got to look up a collectible guide, videos, yada, yada, yada. So for me, I think it's nice diving into a Telltale game here and there. If you want to play something that you can really just play without having to focus on getting any specific achievements. Now, there are like two or three Telltale games that do have collectibles and you need to um, pick certain dialogue choices to get certain achievements, like some of the late Walking Dead games and I think Wolf Among Us. Other than that, a lot of these games have stacks, both on the 360 and on the PC. So some of these games can be completed like three or four times. For example, the original Walking Dead Telltale game can be beaten on the 360, on the PC, on the Xbox One, then in the Definitive Edition, which was recently pulled from the store, and then on top of that, the Definitive Series. The Definitive Series is the one that Skybound Games released when they acquired Telltale Games, and this one only has 1,000 gamer score for all five Walking Dead games. However, the Walking Dead collection that they released actually has 4,000 gamer score. So that's the one that you really want to get your hands on if you ever can. Uh, just because it's a rare physical copy and it is on the store anymore. So yeah, Telltale Games, that's a really easy way to stack up your gamer score. Especially if you're willing to play games multiple times. However, I gotta admit, these are not the quickest completions or platinum trophies. Typically, it takes about six to eight hours to beat one of these games. But this video isn't about the publishers with the quickest achievements. It's about the publishers with the easiest achievements. Now, I had trouble deciding on which one to place number one and which one to place number two. However, I got to put Rattalaka at number two, guys. Rattalaka is known for being the king of achievements and platinum trophies. Rattalaka currently has released 50 games on the Xbox One. Pretty much all 50 games, except for like two or three, are easy completions. Typically, these take less than one hour. On top of that, Rattalaka typically releases a game like every week. So they got the train rolling right now, and it isn't going to stop anytime soon. The Rattalaka games are going to be the most popular games in the achievement community. Typically, these games are only like $5. That's another reason why they're really popular. You got a cheap game. You got easy completion or platinum trophy. And on top of that, the games usually aren't horrible. I usually have fun, you know, for the 30 to 45 minutes that I'm playing them. And if you're a Platinum Hunter over there on PlayStation, you love Rattalaka even more. Because over there on the PlayStation, these games stack like crazy with Platinum Trophies. Typically, you can get three Platinum Trophies just based on the different regions because there's a different version of the game in three different regions. And then on top of that, you have a different Platinum Trophy for the Vita. But over here in the Achievement Community, we only get 1,000 gamer score for our Rattalaka games, which is all good. That's good enough for me. And finally, we have the number one publisher for achievements on Xbox, this being the Hamster Corporation. They make the ACA Neo Geo games. Check this out. There is 108 Neo Geo games. Most of these are easy completions. On top of that, we have stacks for the Windows versions. So there is a total of 216 Neo Geo completions that you can get right now. Of course, that's only if you decided to stack them on Xbox and on PC. When I say stack, I mean complete them on both. Now, ACA Neo Geo games average at $7.99. 
Typically, I don't buy them at full price. I usually wait for them to go on sale. Recently, in the last couple months, they've been putting like two or three on sale every couple weeks. Most of these games take under an hour to complete. However, there are a handful of them that I think are a little bit more difficult. So anytime you buy an ACA Neo Geo game, just make sure that you look it up on True Achievements to make sure it's an easy completion. But if you're someone new in the achievement community and you're really trying to get some gains, you definitely want to start buying some Neo Geo games. As I mentioned before, you could ultimately boost your gamer score 216,000 if you completed all Neo Geo games on both the Xbox and the PC. Now that's just nuts. You know, boosting 50,000 because of Rattalaka games is one thing, but 216,000, man, that is just insane. Other than that, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I thought it would be interesting to break down all of the publishers or developers, you know, that offer the easiest achievements in Platinum Trophies for someone, you know, new to the achievement community that maybe isn't as familiar with the companies that are releasing games with the easiest achievements. Plus, I gotta give credit where credit's due. There is some new developers or publishers on the rise that, you know, have been satisfying the achievement community like the first three that I told you about, Epixer, Victory Road, and Zitalon. Who knows, guys, maybe one of those are the next Rattalaka. Other than that, as always, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, and don't forget to like and subscribe.